Welcome back. So, I had a few pretty inexpensive pickups that came in today. And I'm basically going to start left to right and just go over some of them. So, this lot, I believe, was about $25 shipped. It's all off brand FGS uh, slabs. And, but I thought it was a pretty fun and interesting lot. And for the price, I wasn't going to complain. So here we have a 1969 MLB photo stamp, Hal Lanier. Nineteen fifty-five Golden Stamps, Jim Hughes for the Dodgers. Nineteen fifty-five Golden Stamps, Walter Alston. This was a really nice one. Um, Nineteen forty-nine. Eureka Stamps, Bobby Thompson. 1971 Dell Insert, Sandy Koufax. It's a magazine cutout. That's still fun. 1969 MLB Photo Stamp, Al Ferrara. Nineteen seventy one Dell Jim McAndrew actual card from that was cut out. Nineteen sixty two top stamps Julian Javier for the Cardinals. Nineteen sixty two top stamps Lee Walls for the Mets. 1971 Dell, Al Weiss for the Mets. 1971 And then something I did not have in the PC. And that's a 1975 Topps Mini Sandy Koufax. With Elston Howard as well. So that was one lot. This next lot, I believe it was... Um, 10 to $15 a slab. Um, actually, there's one exception. It was, here, I'll start with these up top. So starting off with the 1974 Tops Nolan Ryan and a five. And we've got 67 Roger Maris and a five. 73 Tops Hank Aaron and a five and a half. And then this next one was $25. 1926 Frank Frisch strip card. Authentic the St. Louis Cardinals. So that was that lot. Again, inexpensive pickups. And then this was, those were all eBay. This was actually Facebook. Um, saw this and I was like, I got to pick that up for that price. So this is two cards, $25 shipped total. So first is Orlando Cepeda, 7 of 50. In 2018. And then from 2017, 55 of 72, Brooks Robinson. So two Hall of Fame signatures for 25 bucks. Not bad. So that's a quick little mail day. Again, inexpensive pickups. Add a few things to, or a couple cards to the PC. Got some Hall of Fame autos. Got some nice vintage pieces in there. Uh, just overall, just an interesting lot. And that's really what appealed to me. Low price and interesting is a good combo for me. So with that... Collect what you enjoy. Enjoy what you collect. Don't let anybody, especially the market or a YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. Find your way to contribute to the community, whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS or local card show, going to the national and talking about the hobby with family and friends. If you put the effort in, and you contribute to the community, you will get a tremendous amount back. That's been the case with me and many others that I know. So enjoy the hobby. 
enjoy your PC, but more importantly, enjoy the people and the community in this hobby. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.